Hey y'all, Billy here from Strong's Adventures. Today, we have a mail call. And I know what it is. So not only do we have a mail call, but we have a cook that we're gonna do that goes along with here this mail call. So, Joe from Joe's Barbecue House had a giveaway and I won. You wanna see what I won? Let's open this box up and see. All right, let's get this box open. So what did I win? Not only one bottle, but two bottles of Root Boys Rub number one and numero doso. This one here, Root Boy, Root Boy Rub number one, Y'all know who Root Boy Rub is. You need to go check their channel out. This one is for beef and bison. Rub number two is for chicken and pork. That's the one we're gonna use because I have pork ribs. I don't have beef ribs. Anyways, I just wanted to tell Joe thank you from Joe's Barbecue House. Rondo will put his link right up there. Y'all go check him out. That man can cook. All right, we got our Root Boy Rub number two for chicken and pork. We have a nice slab of pork ribs. We're gonna get that seasoned up. We're gonna get it on the grill. All right, I'm not gonna trim the membrane off this. I know I'm probably gonna have a bunch of comments telling me how I'm doing it wrong, but I'm cooking for me Rhonda and my mom, and we don't mind that. I'm not taking the time to do that. Oh, it smells wonderful. All right, we got our ribs seasoned up with our Root Boy number two, chicken and pork rub. Dang, around, I don't know if this is going to fit under the lid. <laughs> Alright. So we got our ribs on there. We're going to put our lid back on. Lid ain't going to fit very good, but it'll fit. Swing it back over the fire. And we'll see y'all again in about six hours. Alright, as y'all can see, I got my fire on the right side. I just have some coals underneath the left. I have an old Kingsford dome from my old grill. And there I got my ribs. Beautiful thing about my setup. Let's get it straight. The beautiful thing about my setup, if it's getting too hot and cooking too much on the bottom too quick, I can raise the whole grill up. Alright, it's been about five hours. I'm going to pull our ribs off, put them on this pan, wrap them up in foil, and put them back on the pan and raise the heat up a little bit. Fits perfect. Rhonda, you're pretty damn good. Now we'll get her put on our grill. Probably gonna lower that down just a little bit more. I'll set her down like that, and I'm gonna put a little bit more fire up underneath of it. Y'all hang on, we'll come back with the taste testing in a bit. These are the ribs that had the rub on them that Joe's Barbecue House sent me from Root Boys, rub number doso. Why are you on the right side? This is just know. jacking my karma up. Okay. You sat in the wrong seat. <sighs> All right. Let's give her a try. See what we think. Okay. That's good. 
Oh, that is some good. That is some good spice. That rib number two is number one. <laughs> I like it. It is. It is really good. Hmm. Joe, thank you for having the contest. Glad I won. This stuff is awesome. Yes, we will be buying some of it too. We've enjoyed it. Apparently, we buy everything we try. If it's good. Well, yeah, if it's good. <laughs> so. Which it is. Anyways, thank y'all. Thank you, Joe. Joe will be, or I think Joe was already over here. Anyways, we'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs> you want me to be over here? You're on this side? However you want to be. Okay. Good gravy. Sorry. Holy catfish. Okay. That's all the nice words I can use.